So hello everyone, my name is Ayush Kulkarni and I am Chief 2023 aspirant. So while randomly solving some questions uh, of JE Advanced in Mathematics, I really found some good sort of questions in trigonometry today. So in this video, I am going to share you some uh, good sort of trigonometry questions today uh, that you can expect in JE Advanced. So I will quickly share you some methods and techniques I use to tackle these questions. And you can also use these methods to solve such problems. So one thing I would like to tell you that if you are new to this channel, then please make sure to subscribe this channel. And also if you want such questions, if you want such JE advanced or uh, JE mains questions solved, then please uh, follow this video series, which we are going to start from today. In this today's video, we are going to share some good questions of trigonometry with you. So if you want more questions uh, to try by yourself then you can check the description box you can get the link or there so anyways so while i was uh, sharing some details with you many of you might have tried this question so what is the answer for you all right so i will quickly share the answer with you the answer is n is equal to six okay so how did i got this answer i will share this with you so you know the first thing i uh, I don't think that this question is really a J advanced type question or I don't think that this is really hard question because what I saw in many of my friends that they live in a dilemma that is J advanced will always ask you a tougher tougher or toughest question ever that you have ever seen in your life okay but I don't think that uh, that is the kind of uh, thing we should live in because when I saw many Vikings of J advanced that many questions are doable. If you are conceptually strong, then many questions are doable. So, anyways, rather wasting more time, we'll get get on solving these questions. So the answer is as I told you, answer is n is equal to six, that is option C. So we'll start solving this question. So first of all, let us read the question. Let n be a fixed positive integer such that sine of pi by two n plus cos of pi by two n is equal to under root n over 2. So the first thing they did for us and that gave us hint over there over here that is the angle theta is same in both the cases right. So when the angle theta is same we can do one thing according to me that we can square both the sides. So how when you square both the sides you will get something like one minute you will get something like If you will use the identity a plus b whole square, then you, you will get it like so you can see that this and this will be completely one, and now you are left with one, and now you are left with two sine pi by two n into cos pi by 2n. Now one of the important results that we know that is sine 2 theta is equal to 2 sine theta cos theta. So similarly you can see one thing you can notice one thing over here that is this is the form of sine 2 theta right because if you will see this thing will be sine theta cos theta that is equal to sine 2 theta. So to get this we will multiply pi by 2n into 2. So we will get it as pi by n, right? That will be pi by n. And when you will solve it over here, when you will write it over here, then you will quickly write it as n by 4, which is equal to. So now from here, now if you put some random values if you will put the values like n is equal to 4 or 5 then uh, those values will not satisfy this equation whereas n equal to 6 will satisfy this equation so where so therefore our answer is n is equal to 6 all right so this is the next question we have in front of us that is we have given the value of x as sin 2 p over cos square p and the value of y as cos 2, 2 p over sin square p and sin p plus cos p is 1 by 2 and we are told to find the value of x plus pi over x. So how will you deal with this question? So first of all we will find x plus y over here. Okay. 
we are told to find x plus y so we'll quickly find the value of x plus y over here okay so after that you know you can cross multiply over here so once you cross multiply you will get something like so now here this sine square p will be equal to 1 minus cos square p we know this identity right this is sine square theta plus cos square theta will be 1 then sine square theta will be 1 minus cos square theta from this thing so using this identity i will write it as okay all right so now this will simply become okay so after that the next step is now this will completely be like now you just have to keep on simplifying this thing and you will get the value this is i think uh, also the easy question you can guess now if you keep on the values over here now this thing will be sine b plus plus cos p whole cube minus sin b cos p so you know this identity now that sine p plus cos p whole square can be written as whole square square can be written as sine square p plus cos square p plus 2 2 sine b cos p Every, everybody knows that thing right so from that thing if you will find sine p cos p you will get it as minus 3 by 8 please check it once you will get it as minus 3 by 8 and now the value of x plus y will be just keep on substituting let us name this equation as equation 1 just keep on substituting the values uh, in this equation 1 then you will get it as 1 by by sorry 1 this will be 1 by 8 plus 9 by 16 minus 9 by 32 over 9 by 16 which will ultimately be equal to 79 over 18 so this is the final answer of our question and that is option c all right so you might have got the answer you might have got the correct way of solving this question so this is the next question which we are going to solve today so this is also i guess a very simple question one thing you have noted that this is cos alpha okay so then this will be tan uh, now the question says cos the value of cos alpha is this so how will you find this thing now here what is given firstly okay it is very simple that it is cos alpha is given in this way right? so now one thing you should know that cos alpha can be written as 1 minus tan square alpha by 2 over 1 plus tan square alpha by 2. You might have known this. You might be knowing this right. 2 alpha equal to 1 minus tan square alpha over 1 plus tan square alpha. I just use the same identity over here. Just I removed this two and I put it over here. Okay. So using this particular identity what you will get over here is right so if you will solve this question then you will get this thing as same this will be 1 minus okay this and this is completely 1 and this and this is minus 3 tan square beta by 2 similarly you can collect like terms over here and you can write it as 1 plus 3 tan square beta by 2 you might have understood this step right so now if you will further solve this question if you will further solve this question then you will get now this is completely upon you how you solve this because this is the most simplest step i don't need to explain this step i guess and this will be like equal to 1 so this will be your final answer this can be asked you as integer type question and the answer for this question is completely one all right so that's all for this today's video uh, next video will come up with some quadratic equations or something like that i will just tell you if you want the pdf then you can check the description box and you can try some more questions uh, if you want all right so